Okay, you're trying to use the search function down here, also known as Katana. And when it comes up, it gives you some default stuff. But you start typing, and you expect certain results. In this case, I'm typing in MIN. I get a couple of things. And what you're expecting is the program you're looking for, maybe web search, you know, whatever. You see here as I type in Groove Music comes up, everything's working fine. What search is doing is giving you results based on your recent activity, one thing. Also your search indexes. And that means, what did you search for last? It come up here at the top of your list. Because it wants to present you with your probable results that you're looking for. And contrary to some beliefs out there, there's nothing wrong with Windows 10 search. I'm going to show you how you can get these kind of results simply by checking a few things on your system. Now the first thing you want to do is open up your settings. So click down here, go to settings, and up here you're going to type in search. So if you go here you'll see that there's several different options about search. The one you're looking for is not the history, uh, not all that, but you said let Windows track app launches to improve start and search results. So you click on that and you'll notice here you're in the privacy area. Now, if you're one of those people that uh, have privacy issues that you uh, don't want anything tracked, you may have turned this off. But believe me, Microsoft has better things to do than to track your personal activity. They just want to get statistics and stuff normally. So go back, go here, and make sure this is turned on so it can track what you're launching from the Start menu. Now the next thing you want to go check on is you type in here and you see indexing and you go here to indexing options. You'll see that it brings up the indexing uh, management window. And what this lets you to do is figure out where on your hard drive you want the important files indexed and take away the ones that you don't really care about that you don't need every day. For example, I, I set this up so I have entire hard drives just about uh, indexed. We're going to go in here to modify that and change that. So first thing we're going to do is look up here and you see all these check boxes and it'll tell you uh, what's going on as far as indexing. Now the top area is for you to browse it and take a look at your entire system. You can simply uncheck things like temporary files or the indexing files themselves because uh, you don't care about that. What you care about is things that you use, uh, data you want to get to, so you go over there and do that. And as you click up there you'll see that the bottom window gets updated with what's currently selected. So if after you've gone through your system and decided what you do and do not want, there's one thing that's very important for you to make sure you have checked uh, as default so they'll find the programs you want to launch. And that's to go here and uh, click on, see if you have Start Menu listed. Okay, now this Start Menu here is not uh, the Start Menu you might find under your user directory. If you scroll up here, you'll see as we get further and further up, it's under uh, Microsoft first. There's Microsoft. If you go up here, it's under your program data directory. Now to help you find where that's at, we're going to go here to your system drive through your file manager. And we're going to go here, and there's program data. Now you have to have the ability to see hidden files turned on in order to see that. But once you have, have that, you can go here to Microsoft, you scroll down here a little further, uh, where's Windows, oh, uh, Windows down here at the bottom, you click on Windows, and you scroll down, there's the uh, Start menu, and you'll notice there it is, so go to this directory, now you can't do it from here of course, but if we go back to the other uh, program, and if you can't see it, try going down here to say show all locations. If you click on that, it'll come back and it'll show you everything here and that's uh, being done. And you can go ahead and find it there. But make sure that start menu is here before you click on the OK button. So once you have all that set up and you're happy with what your setup is here, one more thing you want to do maybe, and that's to come over here to the advanced button. Click on it. And we're going to change, maybe rebuild the index, change where it's located at. So to do that, we're going to click on the Select New button. And it's going to bring up a browser or an index window here. And you see right there, there's my SSD. If we scroll down here, 
you see some of my other drives. Okay, I want to move it to let's say my three terabyte. So I'm going to click on make a new folder and call it indexing file files. Okay, once I have that typed in, I want to click on OK uh, down here. And you'll see it's listed over here now. It's going to be on the C drive indexing file. Now it's normally set up on your C drive, and you may want to leave it there. I had it moved off to my F drive because my SSD at the time was very small and I didn't have space for it. Uh, so, anyways, move it to where you think is the best for, for you to have it. Now you notice up here it says indexing speed is reduced to user activity. And that brings me to my last point. Don't just close this down and continue working and expect it to work the instant you make these changes. Give it time to index. Plus, if you use it all day and don't pause, it'll take longer to do it as well. So, give it time to build. Leave your system on if you walk away for coffee or uh, maybe an extra 20 minutes when you're first doing this so it can uh, rebuild the index. Uh, before you expect perfect results. So there you have it. Uh, that's how it, uh, indexing works and how, what settings you have to have. So you, when you type something in here, you'll be pretty much assured to find the right, not only the programs, but the internet content as well.